Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the iPhone 8 prototype versus the Galaxy S8. And you're wondering, wait, why are you doing a comparison? Well, it's a hardware comparison to show you what the iPhone 8 prototype looks like and how it compares. Now you've seen the prototypes out there and it comes in three colors. Uh, hopefully that might be the colors we get with the iPhone 8. We've got silver, black, and a copper gold, I think. Um, but it's really nice. I have to say that they look really good. Um, they look like the real thing. You've got that glass back, which is why you can see the reflection of Batman there uh, on the black as well as the silver uh, prototypes. But one of the major things you see offhand is the vertically inclined camera. It's a camera hump with that too. And it's a dual camera setup where you do have a telephoto and wide camera with a flash built in in the center. Uh, this camera, of course, is uh, supposed to be actually more advanced than the iPhone 7 or even 7S. And then, of course, when you turn around to the front of the device, you do have that thin bezel display. And it looks best on the black, which is in the center. Uh, we're taking that out now. You can see both the rose and the um, silver. And Apple might keep it this way with the white, which they've always done, or they might actually take that out, which is one thing that Samsung does. But taking a closer look, you can see the thin bezel. Uh, this is roughly around like a 5.7, 5.8 inch display, much bigger. Um, and it gives you much more um, real estate if you're an iPhone user which is a good thing, it means no more thick bezels, larger for watching uh, videos. But also you see there is no Touch ID. Uh, some people have thought it might be on the power button um, or it might be underneath the screen, which is not the case, but I believe it's going to be facial recognition. Now, remember uh, Qualcomm just announced the Spectra technology that gives you a lot in depth facial recognition. And I think that is something that Apple will have their own version of and actually will take it to the next level. So we'll see how that actually works out. Now the iPhone 8 will still have a lightning port, uh, no headphone jack as Apple is not bringing that back. Uh, we do know that one of those grills is for the mic, the second one is for your speakers. There will be two speakers of course on this device giving you stereo speaker sound. But the overall look and feel of the iPhone 8, especially with its prototypes, looks really nice. Um, and you know, depends on what you want to go for, especially if you like the black. That will give you that um, all around feel with the you know AMOLED display in the front. Of course, the black uh, glass back, uh, black glass back, um, and uh, giving you something that looks pretty nice, as you can see with the black version again sitting in the middle between both the. Uh, copper gold and the silver but of course we want to compare it to the galaxy s8 to see how that differs and how both of them differ in terms of sizing um you know build and all that kind of fun stuff so the s8 is a little larger uh it's 5.8 inches uh and it's also got a, it looks like a, lo a longer body stem you can see the camera difference is also well stated between both devices as we look at the front panel of both devices you can see that the um, S8 has a bezel-less display, while of course this still has very thin bezels on the iPhone 8. Now the camera modules on the very front of the device shows of course that quad uh, camera module for the iPhone 8 that will give you of course facial recognition on lock. The S8 has uh, multiple camera modules with an iris scanner. Uh, iPhone probably will also have an iris scanner built in. Now at the bottom, the Galaxy S8 has a headphone jack and a USB Type-C port uh, with one speaker. Uh, and the iPhone, of course, is lightly no, no headphone jack, as you can see. But you can see where the bezels really align and shows up. See how thick that is in comparison. Not that it's thicker, just in comparison. Now, moving to the rear camera modules, you can see here the dual camera module on the iPhone 8 versus the single camera and also the uh, fingerprint sensor location. There is no fingerprint sensor, I believe, on the iPhone 8. At the most, it might be on the power button, but that's waiting to be seen. I think overall, though, a lot of people will like the iPhone 8, and this would be highly priced in terms of uh, devices. This is App Apple's premium. This is the one that is going to usher the 10th year anniversary of the iPhone, as, a, as opposed to say the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus. So uh, stay tuned guys, once the iPhone 8 is released, we will have of course full proper hands-on of the device function, videos, all that kind of fun stuff. But you've got to see how it looks like, you've got to see how it compares against the Galaxy S8, just in terms of overall build. And I have to say those, it's gonna be quite 
quite interesting. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.